I rise today to continue my tributes to the current generation of men and women who lost their lives defending our freedom in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Each of these Nebraska heroes has a special story to tell. Today, I will recall the life and service of Sergeant Corey Maracek, a native of Hay Springs, Nebraska. Though Corey spent most of his life in Hay Springs, he was born in Shadron, Nebraska. Both of his parents, Pat and Jim, were born and raised in Nebraska as well. As a young child, Corey was always trying to have a good time. He was often found either laughing or trying to make others laugh. Corey talked a lot, starting at age one. His mother, Pat, fondly remembers that Corey was a curious child, and when they would go into stores, Corey would always touch different items because he wanted to know more about them. He was an easygoing kid, and he loved watching Sesame Street on a regular basis. Corey was close to his grandfather, and they would often go places together and spend time together. Both of Corey's younger sisters, Stacy and Heather, came into the world when he was a young child, and he had a very close relationship with both of them. And as often the case with siblings, though, they sometimes quarreled. Like many kids his age, Corey was fascinated by Star Wars and The Simpsons. The original Star Wars movies came out when Corey was young, and he had all kinds of Star Wars figurines and action figures around the house. Corey attended several small schools in northwest Nebraska before enrolling at Hay Springs High School. Around the time Corey started high school, Michael Jordan was changing the sport of basketball all over the world. The Chicago Bulls legend became Corey's sports hero. His bedroom was covered with Michael Jordan posters, basketball cards, and memorabilia. During his high school years, Corey became involved in many extracurricular activities. Fishing was one of his favorites, and he would often go to nearby Walgren Lake, southwest of Hay Springs. In high school, Corey was also involved in basketball and football, where he played fullback. Pat vividly remembers when she worked in the eastern part of Nebraska one week so that Corey could attend Tom Osborne's Big Red Football School for three days. This was a popular football camp that many teenage boys in Nebraska participated in over the years. At Hay Springs High, Corey wasn't too fond of actually going to school, but he was more than capable. He scored a 30 on his ACT, and his Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery score was also exceptionally high. After graduating from Hay Springs High School, Corey attended Shadron State College, just down the road from where he grew up. While at Shadron State, Corey was having a hard time finding a good job. With his high marks on the test, Corey decided to enlist in the Nebraska Army National Guard. He graduated from basic training at Fort Sill, Oklahoma in 1996. After one year, Corey transferred to the active Army because it provided him with a year-round job. Corey's military occupation specialty was 13 Bravo, or cannon crew member for artillery, and he was stationed at Fort Campbell in Kentucky. Immediately after joining the active Army, Corey was deployed to South Korea for a year. He enjoyed his time in Korea, and he participated in the tradition of the Manchu Mile, a daunting 24-mile march in full combat gear across Korea's mountainous terrain. Corey was also involved in the Honor Guard. In January of 2001, Corey returned home to Nebraska and transitioned back to the National Guard. Months later, the September 11th terrorist attacks changed our nation and the world. The events of that fateful day ignited deep patriotism within Corey. While his, he and his parents were outside their home holding up candles in memory of the lives lost in the 9-11 attacks, 
Corey told his mom he was going to transition back to the active army to serve his country. In early 2002, Corey transitioned back to the active army from the Nebraska National Guard. Corey then deployed to Korea for a second time, this time for 15 months, serving near the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. When he returned from Korea, Corey was assigned to the 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg and completed airborne school in November of 2003. Shortly after, Corey received notice that he was deploying to Iraq. Corey arrived in Iraq for his deployment in January of 2004. Pat had already sent care packages over for Corey, so they would be there when he arrived. On the morning of January 27, 2004, Pat instant messaged with Corey to catch up and see how things were going. Later that same day, Corey and his reconnaissance platoon were performing a mission near Iskandaria, Iraq. This particular area of Iraq saw major combat activity and sectarian violence from 2003 to 2007. During Corey's reconnaissance mission that day, his platoon came, platoon came across an IED. Corey and two other United States service members were killed by that explosion. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, February 4th, 2004, at the Chadron State College Gymnasium, more than 600 family members, friends, and military officials gathered to celebrate and honor the life, service, and sacrifice of Sergeant Corey Maracek. He was eulogized by many, including his two sisters, Stacy and Heather, and he was laid to rest at the Gordon City Cemetery next to his grandfather. The funeral procession from Shadron to Gordon was a short drive by Western Nebraska standards, 46 miles. From Shadron to Hay Springs to Rushville, people lined the streets to pay their respects, wave American flags, and salute Corey. For quite some time, Corey's parents thought about the best way to memorialize him. Eventually, Pat came up with the perfect tribute, renaming the local Shadron, Nebraska post office after Corey. Pat had previously worked at the post office for 10 years, and she asked retired General Roger Lemke, who is now a member of my staff, about how we could make this happen. I had the privilege of working alongside former United States Senator Mike Johans on legislation to rename the Shadron Post Office the Sergeant Corey Maracek Memorial Post Office. The bill was passed by Congress, and it was signed into law on November 2014. To this day, Corey's mother, Pat, remains heavily involved in many veteran and military organizations. She's the president of Nebraska Gold Star Mothers, and the co-chair of the Honor and Remember Nebraska chapter. Both Pat and Corey's father, Jim, would like our nation to remember how happy Corey was. He liked to laugh, have fun, and enjoy life. I join Nebraskans and Americans across our country in saluting Corey's willingness to serve and the sacrifices he and his family made to keep us free and I am honored to tell his story. <laughs>